when a family under attack in their own yard, their pet Joey was mauled by their neighbor's dog, and this is not the first time this has happened. Our tennis reporter Emily Thode is in City Heights with why they're blaming animal control for not stepping into this situation. Little Joey was attacked in his own backyard right on the other side. I'm fearful of the dogs. A neighbor's dogs. 77 year old Maria Reserva says the dogs crawl under the fence and attack. Whatever she puts to block the hole, she says the dogs push through. About two weeks ago, little Joey snuck out back. Yeah, he yelped, and that was it, just one yelp. They heard it. My son ran over there just in time, and the dog had his head in his mouth. And my son kicked him so hard that the dog released him. Joey. Here's one big teeth mark right there. Injuries all over him. He was a lucky dog. A lot luckier than Maria's bulldog, Chata. It's heartbreaking. Just, it, it, I'm at a loss to say how painful it is. It was about a year and a half ago. Maria says they found Chata in the backyard. Someone accidentally left her out back alone. Chata brutally attacked by the neighbor's dogs. Uh, doctor said that she uh, died from all the puncture wounds and um, her kidneys gave out. Maria says she called animal control both times. Both times officers came out. Both times the neighbor's dog stayed, the owner unpunished. And he said, oh, we can't help it. Tendu spoke with the director of animal services. He told us they cannot take a dog or declare it vicious without due process. He says officers will go back and ask Maria if she wants to testify in a hearing and if she wants to make a citizen's arrest on the dog's owner. If so, they will submit the case to the city attorney. In City Heights, Emily Thode, 10 News.